Welcome back to another video guys. So I took a trade on Vitan Index using this 5 minute time frame strategy. So I'll be sharing with you guys the strategy I use on trading on a 5 minute time frame. And it would as well minimize your risk on the trade like to minimize your risk on the trade if you are someone who has a small account and you don't want to expose the account to much risk. So this 5 minute time frame strategy is very effective and would help you make profits so you can be able to scale up your funds approaching the markets using this strategy so what i do is um i go to the four hour time frame this strategy works with the four hour time frame and the five minute time frame so go to the four hour time frame and um identify levels identify my levels like you can see that we got this level we got the market bouncing off this zone like buying off from this zone buying off from this zone like whenever the market gets to this zone it buys off and you can see this level as well whenever the market gets to this zone it sells off so what i do is identify our levels on the four hour time frame identify those levels at least those zones should have the market moving out of it twice like you can see you had the first move out of this zone and the second move out of this zone so our mind now is um we are expecting the market to get to this zone and give us a move but we can't just get into the trade on the four hour time frame so we have to consult the five minute time frame sorry you have to use the five minute time frame so when we go to the five minute time frame you can see that um you can see that we got a structure like we got a formation on the five minute time frame what you look at on the five minute time frame is pattern formations we have to identify a reversal pattern no matter how small it is just identify a reversal formation and we can see we got this reversal pattern here you can see the market gave us a left shoulder the head and the right shoulder at this point so we got this reversal pattern formation the market gave us at this zone so we have identified our reversal formation which is our first step then when we identify our reversal formation, next thing we do is identify our neckline, the neckline of our reversal formation. Remember, this formation is being identified on the level we identified on the forward time frame. On this level, we identified, sorry, on this level identified on the forward time frame. We can see this level identified. So these formations are being spotted on the same level. So we have to go to a lower time frame, which we did. We went to the forward time frame and we can see that. You saw the market giving us this reversal formation this inverted head and shoulders pattern which is a reversal pattern so when we identified our reversal formation next is when uh, we spot our neckline the neckline of the formation and we have to wait for the market to break out of it like to break above the neckline and we got the market breaking above this our neckline you can see we got a reversal formation then the market broke out of it and reversal formations indicate like they indicate reversals in the market they show that the market wants to reverse and our last move like the last market direction was a sell-off like a move to the downside so we identified um we have to identify our last market direction we now spot our formation we have to wait for the market to give us this formation this reversal formation and we got one at this point so when we got our reversal formation we can see that the market also gave us this other block at this zone so we'll be taking more buys when the market gets to this point you can see the market gave us a couple of consolidations at this zone so we expect this level to be a strong zone so we have to place our stop loss below this our consolidation the market gave us so our stop loss will be below this our consolidation if the market breaks below this level we are stopped out we assume that this level is a strong level for the market to break below so we're having our stop loss below this our consolidation you can see we had the market consolidating at this zone and we'll be entering more positions we get into the trade more because we are getting a proper retest of our neckline and you can see we have a bullish order block that the market formed at this zone so we're waiting patiently for the market to give us a move back to this zone like if we can get a sell off then we're looking for more buys looking for more buys to our next high we have our next high at this point so if you can be able to apply this strategy like if you need, even if you got a five dollar account you can be able to flip it using this um strategy because your risk could be you have a lower risk and you not be exposed to big losses and all of that because you're trading on a lower time frame so we have to wait for the market to give us a move to this our bullish order block that we saw at this zone then we'll be taking more positions we'll be adding to our buys and we are seeing the market is moving our way everything is going as well and i forgot to state earlier that we have to also identify the change of market structure like you can see the market started creating what higher lows you understand we had the market giving us this change of market structure you know there was a change of market structure at this point the market started creating higher lows so we can see there was a low here and a higher low so we have to identify it and the higher low was matching up with our reversal formation our inverted head and shoulders pattern so we can see the market gave us a move out of this our formation and we can also see that there was a bullish pressure in this zone which is why we identify our change of market structure like we have to identify that there is um there is bullish presence in the market or there is bearish presence that's if you are selling but in this case we are buying so we have to identify the bullish presence by spotting our market formation the market giving us this 
higher lows creation like the higher lows formation so we didn't really get a full test of this our zone but let's wait and see if the market can give us a test on this our level for us to buy more for us to take more buys because it's possible the market would um buy up from this zone so we're waiting patiently for the market to give us more push to this level then taking our buys let's move our stop loss below this our zone to wait for the sell off like to wait for the buys to take more buy positions so you can see our first tp will be here our first tp would be here like we're having our first tp here then if you can get the market to break above this level you'll be having our next tp at this zone you can see we have this zone that is that you can see this like we had this build up in the market at this point you know we had the market giving us this build up so if we can get the market to give us a break above this our level these are our first targets at this point then our second target should be at this point our third target should be at this point all we have to do is identify levels in the market those levels we feel the market reacted to in the past see there, there was a reaction in this zone in the past and there was a reaction on this zone as well in the past so as this level so what we have to do is just identify those levels at which the market reacted to in the past and use those levels as our target levels so taking more buys if the market can get to this zone yeah we are close so let's use the 0 0.5 lot size for buys okay so let's wait for the buys let's wait let's wait let's wait let's wait let's wait so the market is even struggling to give us a sell-off to this zone indicating bullish presence in a case where the um the bears are struggling to give us a push to the downside it signifies that there is a lot bullish like there's a lot of bullish presence in the market so there are more chances like there's high chances of um the buys in the market so all we have to do is just wait like wait for the retest then we take our buys if the market will delay us i will then cause the video and show you guys how the trade played out and the result of the trade so that's how i practically trade on a small account that's how i flip small accounts i use a lower time frame and but i have to first use the structures on the higher time frame i have to first identify the higher time frame structures um then go to the lower time frame to look out for a lower time frame market formations to approach the market like to get into the trade or take the trade opportunity so we'll be taking more buys if you can get the sell off to this our zone but the market seems to be struggling to give us a push to the downside let's wait a little bit for more buys let's wait let's wait let's wait it's close to our box basically so it's close to our box actually so let's wait market is really playing around so i'll be cutting the video and be giving you guys a feedback on the played out so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new viewer to my tiny viewers i really appreciate you guys let's do more guys and do have a wonderful day peace out